I was like 23 and people were just like kind of reducing me to like kind of making slideshows of like my dating life and putting people in there that I'd sat next to at a party once and deciding that my songwriting was like a trick rather than a skill and a craft. Kind of, it's, it's, it's a way to take a woman who's doing her job and succeeding at doing her job and making things. And it's, it's in a way, it's, it's figuring out how to completely minimize that skill. It's not uncommon for celebrities to face disrespect or criticism from some quarters, and Taylor Swift is no exception. While she has certainly had her fair share of fans and supporters over the years, she's also faced criticism, mocking, and controversy at various points in her career. But looks like she finally had it all. Recently, Swift spoke to Apple Beats' Zane Lowe about some interviewers reducing her to the men she had dated in the early days of her career. She looks heartbroken when she told Lowe, when I was 23, people were just kind of reducing me to kind of making sideshows of my dating life and putting people in there that I'd sat next to at a party once and deciding that my songwriting was like a trick rather than a skill and a craft. Although she didn't mention Ellen DeGeneres' name directly, fans know that she was clearly referencing the most awkward 2012 interview. So what's wrong with Ellen? Does she naturally enjoy picking on people and making them feel uncomfortable? Stick with us and you'll soon find out for yourself. But you were here with your boyfriend, Zac Efron, last time. How What's he doing? Um, we actually never dated. Yes, you did. I'll have to call Zach. Uh huh. Get the rights to it. Well, you probably talked to him if... earlier today. How is he doing? I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while because we didn't date. Yes, you did. Why do you deny it? Because we didn't. Which song is about Zach on the new CD? Um, there's nothing really about Zach on the CD because we didn't we didn't date. All right. So. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'll do. You don't have to say. I'm going to show pictures. Here's a bell, and you ring it when, when. Oh my God. All right. We'll show pictures. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Yeah, you will. This so, is the one thing that I have. It's like the one shred of dignity that I have. Is uh, I know that. What do you mean one shred of dignity? You're just filled I'm not with gonna, dignity. You but like, but people go and make guesses about it, and the only thing that I have is like that one okay. card. All right, let's We don't, didn't date. Okay, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's ridiculous to show Zach. They never did date. Okay. What are, I, I don't know what I'm... You're supposed to ring... But why, I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to. All right, I'll ring... Because they'll send me angry emails, Here. but I don't want to get them. I'll hold it for you. This makes me feel so bad about myself. Every time I come up here, you put like a different dude up there on the screen. And it just makes me really question like what I stand for as a human being. Uh, you, There's yeah. never been two guys on the screen, two visits in a row. It's sad. The resurfacing of an old nasty interview of Taylor Swift and Ellen has taken the internet by storm. You can see for yourself how Ellen keeps mocking the Midnight Singer during the whole interview, despite her reluctance to continue speaking about her love life. She was clearly cornered in the name of humor by none other than Ellen DeGeneres. In the beginning of their conversation, Ellen kept implying that Taylor Swift and Zac Efron were an item, even though the singer clearly denied it many times. But Ellen didn't want to let go of the topic. You can see how Taylor seemed clearly uncomfortable about where the conversation was heading. But it looks like Ellen was more interested in her private matters compared to her music. The talk show host even insisted on playing a game in pretense to understand Taylor Swift's song, We Are Never Getting Back Together, and for whom it was about. She clearly didn't want to be a part of an idiotic game, but Ellen didn't let it pass until she was on the verge of tearing up. Once the game came to an end, Taylor Swift even expressed herself in clear words saying, Stop it! Stop it! Stop! This makes me feel so bad about myself. Every time I come up here, you put like a different dude up there on the screen and it just makes me really question what I stand for as a human being. The interaction between the Bad Blood singer and talk show host has left few fans quite furious as they even felt the whole episode was simply mean. One of the fans sympathetically commented, It broke my heart to see Taylor about to cry and standing up for herself and Ellen just laughing at the whole thing. It was very obvious that she was uncomfortable. She was even saying that she felt Ellen was putting her in situations that made her feel bad about herself. This behavior as a TV host should not be permitted. Another furious one added, she's that kind of teacher that would embarrass you in front of everyone 
everyone. And the conversation with Taylor is like the best example. But now, Taylor Swift is finally getting what she deserved. She's respected and admired for her great work in the music industry. Not only that, she's known for her confessional and narrative songwriting, which often centers around her personal life and relationships. Fans even find her lyrics relatable, and they feel a connection to her through music. Regardless of everything, the now viral clip has forced many celebrities to call out Ellen for her pathetic sense of humor. When the TikTok clip catched the attention of Emily Ratajkowski, she couldn't help but slam Ellen by responding to the old clip, writing, This is so effed up. She's literally begging her to stop. Now, that was quite the slap in the face. Well, Radzikowski wasn't the only person to call DeGeneres out in the comment section of the TikTok video. It seems Ellen has done quite a number of uncomfortable interviews over the years with many celebrities. You might not believe, but there have been plenty of on-screen interactions on the Ellen DeGeneres show that have raised eyebrows as well. Michelle, what kind of cream do you need for that rash that you were telling me about? <laughs> the rash? <laughs> no, no. We <laughs> Don't tell people we about my rash. Name for a rash that uh, Shelly has. Where is the rash? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What area were you telling me about? My shoulder. As you see, the talk show host took the former first lady shopping to prepare her for regular life after her husband, former U.S. President Barack Obama, finished his second term in office. She embarrassed her while pretending to find an ointment for her makeup rash. Despite laughing, we know that the becoming author grew visibly irritated at the host's behavior. DeGeneres believes that her jokes make people happy, but it actually makes them uncomfortable. She even countered to Michelle, I make the world happy every day, to which Michelle responded, you should have freed some slaves. You know, you're really annoying. It's like taking a three-year-old to the store. Here, Martha Stewart, Snoop Dogg, and Anna Kendrick sat down for a round of Never Have I Ever on a 2016 episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show. To kick off the game, DeGeneres asked the players if they'd ever sexted. All the players held up their paddle to confirm that they had, to which DeGeneres mockingly asked, Martha, you've sexted? Do you know what that is? Looks like Ellen just wants to push Martha's buttons to get a reaction out of her. Examining the front and back of her paddle, Stewart responded, It doesn't say. None of your business. You just brought a friend to Bora Bora? Yeah. And you're just naked with your friend? Why are you putting me on the spot like this? Why can't you say you're dating somebody? I'm not dating anyone, though. She's just a friend? She's just a friend. Wow. With a blurred out nude shot of the singer displayed in the background, DeGeneres asked Justin Bieber a string of questions about the photo of him vacationing in Bora Bora in 2015. Very conveniently, she drew attention to the figure laying down behind Bieber and asked if she was his girlfriend. It was clearly visible that Justin was reluctant to give any answer to the talk show host saying, why are you putting me on the spot like this? Gosh. But DeGeneres continued to fish for answers. So Bieber had to whisper an audible stop before coming covering his face with his hands. How was the party? I wasn't invited. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Last year, no, last time I was on the show, last year, you gave me a bunch of about not inviting you, but I didn't even know you wanted to be invited. I did invite you and you didn't come, so. This time you invited me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? I don't think so. Ask everybody. Why didn't I go? I don't know. Well, it seems like Ellen just enjoys giving people a hard time. When the Fifty Shades of Grey actress came on her show in 2018, the comedian gave her a hard time for not sending an invitation to her birthday party. When DeGeneres asked why she didn't hear about Johnson's 30th birthday in 2019, the actress stood her ground and told her she did send an invite this year. But Johnson didn't forget to raise the point awkwardly that she didn't know the talk show host wanted to be invited to her birthday party, to which DeGeneres responded that most people prefer to be invited to parties making the moment even more uncomfortable. I am terrified of porcelain dolls. I heard that. All right. Just, just <laughs> hold one. I'm, no. Uh, just, my wife, <laughs> come on, stop, 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 man. We always saw Channing Tatum playing a fearless role in the big screen. However, off camera, he seems to be extremely down to earth. And like most, he has certain phobias. But again, Ellen took things too far. Showcasing his phobia in what some deemed a harsh tactic just to get a laugh from her audience. 
Even fans were not pleased seeing how Ellen treated a person with a phobia and called her stunt a reckless one, saying, he's obviously very uncomfortable and it's awful to watch this. You should never confront anyone with their worst fear ever without their permission. Even if you think their worst fear is pathetic, not cool. That's the definition of phobia, not cool, man. Along with celebrities, many others came forward to tell about Ellen's rude and sarcastic behavior. In 2020, DeGeneres and her daytime TV show faced public backlash after reports of a toxic workplace environment, which sparked an internal investigation into staffers' accusations. As a result, the NBC show officially ended in May of 2022. Fans still feel upset on behalf of their favorite celebrities and even praise them for dealing with the awkward moments with Ellen so calmly. One of them commented, It's incredible how no one lost their patience with her. Kudos to these celebrities for dealing with Ellen so calmly. But some wish that Ellen should get a taste of her own medicine to feel exactly what she does to others. Saying, I hope someone out there can find Ellen's deepest and darkest fear and then completely expose her in front of her own fans so she gets a taste of what it's like to be a guest of her own show. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.